This is a demonstration of our virtual SCADA lab demo. This is done by the Fermat Lab at Virginia Tech in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. When we first start iFix, we start with this window, with the startup window. And before doing anything else, we need to configure the SCU, or the System Configuration Utility. To do this, we click on Configure, SCADA, and we click on IO Driver Name. and we double click on OPC client and click on add. This adds the OPC client to the system configuration unit. This way we can communicate over the OPC protocol with the database manager. Click on OK. Now this should be configured as part of the SCU. We then exit, save the current SCU, and now we're able to open up iFix and start a picture. We do that by clicking Prophecy iFix. and the workspace appears. Now we introduce iFix Workspace, the database manager, and how to run a picture. First, we click on iFix 5.0. and click on Prophecy Outlooks. Currently, we are running in the demo mode, which means that we can only run this for two hours, at which point we will have to restart and run iFix 5.8 again. Here's the iFix workspace. Here is a picture, which is where you can create the HMI of your SCADA system. For example, we open a picture here, the fence pump for Facebook. we see a sample picture that is basically a GUI for SCADA process. Inside of iFix, we have a database manager that contains the process database. Double clicking on this twice, opens the process database. Here's an empty 
process digits. These will connect to the picture and display data for that picture. Names, descriptions, types, IO addresses, and the value of that type. Now, we will show how to connect to our data server through PowerTool. Create a tag in the database manager and connect this tag to our OPC server. First, we introduce connecting to the OPC server. We open up the database manager and click on Drivers, OPC. This opens up a OPC client connection. We select the local OPC client driver and connect. Then we select an OP OPC server. We click on Add a new OPC server Click on user remote OPC server. This way we can connect to the SCADA lab server that was developed for this course. The IP address of this is 38.68.240.171. We then click Next and see that we are able to connect to the server. For this purpose, we will connect to OPC DDE1, although OPC Server Simulation.1 can be selected as well. Click on Finish, and now we have successfully connected the server. In order to add individual tags, you click on Add Group, which adds a new group to the new server, and then click on Add Item. This adds individual items to the server. To select an item, we click on Browse Server, click on Yes to connect to the OPC server, select Configured Aliases. Here are some of the configured aliases that are available on the server right now. These are for demonstration for the NetBus system. For these purposes, we use bus 1 phase and bus 1 voltage to demonstrate how to connect to the OPC server. Click on OK. And click on Statistics to show the OPC server. In order to see the statistics, or to see the values of bus 1 voltage, click on Enable, and click on the Statistics button to see the value of the data. This data is be being shown on our server. Now, in order to add a tag to our process database, 
and view this inside of a, the SCADA system that we built. We click on Add Block and select Analog Input. We choose a name for the tag. In this case, we choose Bus 1. We select the driver that we're using, in this case it's OPC Client, and we choose the I.O. address. Here we can see the bus voltage that we previously configured inside of the power tool. We save this, say yes to placing the bus voltage on, and now we can see the value of this analog input inside of our process database. And we can see the current value displayed here. In this example, this is the bus 1 voltage for a 9 bus system, and this is the value in kilowatts, kilovolts of that bus. Similarly, we can add any item from the server as long as it is displayed on the server. We can also add simulation items to this process database, which has been shown previously. Here we will show how to add a data link that can connect to the back end uh, database manager. First, we click on insert object data link and now we browse for a specific source inside of our database manager. Since earlier we configured bus 1 voltage, we now select that. We then select as the field name F underscore CV, which stands for float current value. We click OK, OK, and run this. This now displays the current value displayed in the database manager. We can add charts and other data links and data sources to our picture to simulate SCADA systems.